Hi YouTube, it's Jade, your freelance makeup artist. So today I'm gonna be following up on some products that I had gotten, sorry, <laughs> gotten like a while, while, while ago and I just haven't got around to it so now I am getting around to it. So I had made a video about Cinema Secrets and some products that I had got from there. So I am going to tell you about them. Okay, first um, is eyeliners. And I have the Magic Color Cream Crayon. And it's in Velvet Black. It's the Ben Nye Magic Color. Focus. Yeah, the Ben Nye Magic Color, Magic Color Cream Crayon in Velvet Black. Looks like that. Yeah, it looks funny because I used it today. I just use it like as regular eyeliner. You can use it like as a base, like for a smoky eye or something. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it so far. Um, it goes on really great. Very smooth, creamy. Um, I put it like on the top part right here and on the bottom. Um, I feel like I have to put this product on like every once in a while when I touch up my makeup. So. Whenever I, whenever you touch up your makeup, like, that's when you probably have to. But that's just me. I feel like I have to do that. Only because I feel like it's, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I like it. It works great. Okay, the next one is the Ben Nye Gold Shimmer Crayon. And it doesn't say the color, but it's in CSC2. So here's the... Ben Nye Gold Shimmer Crayon in CSC2. And I'll swatch it for you. See how beautiful it is? Oh, love it. I love gold. I was like searching for gold shadows forever and I came across this. I use it as a base. That's what I use it as. I don't know if I use... If you can use it just standalone by itself. But of course you're always going to have to put a primer and then this. So I put a primer on and then I put this on top of it. Like just on the lid. And then if you have like a gold eyeshadow you can put that on top and it would just stick. I love this. It's I haven't really used it much because I haven't really worn any gold eyeshadow. So yeah. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But you can use this wherever you'd like to. You could use it like as a base, as a gold shimmer primer. Um, you can use it for under your eye as well, or whatever you can like. Whatever you can do, I just use it like as a base. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. And then I have the Cinema Secrets Ultimate Foundation. It's Probably a concealer. I don't think it's a foundation. It just it says it on the back. Yeah, Cinema Secrets Foundation. And I can't really read the number that I have, but I'll show you what it looks like or what the color is. So yeah, that's what the color looks like. It's like dark, way too dark for me compared to my complexion. And my mom, she had actually given me hers to try. And I don't know, I kind of come back to this one because she's like lighter than me. So I just, she was like, oh here, like why don't you try my shade because you'd probably be better off with my shade because she doesn't, she doesn't like it. It's like too 
thick for her, but I like that thick feeling, so you can tell the difference, like, here's my mom's shade, and then here's my, my shade. This one, it's like, I guess, like, this shade is like a peach under, peach undertone, I guess, peach, pink, here, I'll show you, I don't know if you can see, but I'm pretty sure you can tell the difference. In person, you can tell the difference. Like, this one is like a pink peach undertone. And this one's just, I don't know, really dark. And it kind of... I don't know. But they go on pretty great. I use my fingers. And I put it like under my eyes or like conceal any imperfections. Yeah. I guess I could just swatch it. And that's my color. And then here is my mom's color. So you can definitely tell the difference which one is darker and lighter. This one is my mom's shade. And then this one right here is my shade. It's kind of like an orangey-ish color, I guess. I don't know. But it's like way too dark for me. But I still find a way to blend it in and kind of just calm it down. I don't know, maybe you can mix them too. But I like the formula since it's like really, really, really cre like creamy and thick. Since Cinema Secrets is like... How do you say it like theatrical makeup I guess so yeah <clears throat> anyways I like it it works great um, it hides my under eye bags and any imperfections I guess Aww, since my face looks flawless <laughs> just kidding I wish it was so flawless everybody has a flaw but yeah anyways then we got the Cinema Secrets Professional Brush Cleaner in this big bottle that we have. Yes. Um, it's 32 four ounces. You can tell right there. And it was filled up to like almost the top. And it's okay. It works great. Woo, works so great. I guess, I think it's better for professional makeup artists. If they're, like, on the go, and, like, some people, when they, like, wash their brushes on, like, wipes and stuff, and it feels still damp, like this, you, you, um, it says you pour one half inch of brush cleaner into Cinema Secrets tin can, or just, like, a little bowl that you have it doesn't have to like be a tin can and then you dip the small brushes so the hairs are fully submerged and then larger brushes you just dip the tip of the brush to remove wipe on paper towel or clean cloth and then repeat it once or twice until the brush is clean and then you allow up to 15 minutes drying time for small brushes allow 30 minutes for large brushes or powder brushes before cleaning so yeah has a direct instructions for the use right here and then it says system for the reduction of cross contamination in a makeup application you can use I guess you can use it for other things too oh I guess so use all these professional implements for the most effective anti-contamination system yeah it says instant hand sanitizer metal spatula Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know. It just says all that right there. Yeah. It works good. Um, what else can I tell you about this? It works good. You just put it in a little bowl and then you swirl your brushes and stuff. So that way it gets clean and you can see all the stuff come off of your brush it is amazing it's like 
Oh, all that is on my brush. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yikes. I need to clean my brushes. But I suggest you clean them like at least once a week. You don't have to clean them like all the time. But just once a week is good. Or like once every so many months. But I think like once a week you should be okay. It does kind of smell. <laughs> it kind of smells like. I don't want to say vanilla, but I don't know. Kind of smells like vanilla to me, but then it smells like medicine. I don't know. It's a it's strong, so when you do it, do it like outside or open some windows or something. The only bad thing I hate about it is that it leaves your brushes like a tint of blue. I think it goes away after a while. And you still smell the product on there. Like that's the only bad thing I hate about it. But other than that, it gets your brushes pretty clean. Like, I could probably do a comparison. Like, this brush has some product on it. And then this one doesn't. It's, like, white. Aww. Yeah. But I think, like, if you just brush it off or something, then, like, the blue will come off. And if you just leave them like in a little container like this, just standing up there, could kind of dry. Then they'll just like air out and maybe, I don't know. That's really the only flaw that I have, that it leaves your brushes blue and then it still smells after a while. But not like all the time. Yeah. It just leaves them like a tint of blue. I don't know if you could tell on that, but... On this brush it's kind of blue that's the only thing but this baby it works wonders so yeah I don't know how much oh it says right here it's like $35 for this big thing and they had different sizes as well like pub like I don't know what the sizes are but they had different sizes too we just got the big one because since me and my mom we need to wash our makeup brushes every so often so yeah and we're not going to come back all the way to Burbank for quite some time now. So yeah, we figured we better get the big bottle. Otherwise, I don't know. We'll be lost without it. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. I was just following up on the products that I had gotten from Cinema Secrets. And I didn't get around to it. So yeah. Okay. Thanks for your time and bye.